I would say that Keep Watching is somewhere between a thriller and a romance. And it's a story of someone who gradually realizes that they're being watched by someone else. And instead of being creeped out by that idea, uh, they fall in love with it. The original idea for Keep Watching, one of the things that um, stuck out to, to us in our research is there was an article by Amnesty International which talked about uh, the secret police, the Stasi in East Germany before the fall of the Berlin Wall, incredibly oppressive surveillance society, uh, very intimate details about their lives were monitored and logged by the secret police. And if you were to take all of the files that the Stasi had on the East German population, when uh, the wall came down, they found that it filled something like 48,000 filing cabinets. And then you compare that to what's happening today, which is you take one US government server, if you were to print it out and put it on paper, fill 40 trillion filing cabinets. One thing that surprised me researching the show is not so much the amount of data or information on our identities that is out there and that is being collected. I think what's surprising is how that data is being used. It's not so much what you tell them, it's about what they can infer by adding all those bits of information up about you. What do I want the audience to get from Keep Watching? So I want them, I want them to be great. I want them to enjoy a really uh, exciting story, as I say, hopefully it's a thriller. We've got a moped motorbike chase in the show, cheesy gags, there's great music, there's live singing, there's terrorism, there's romance, there's betrayal. So first and foremost, I want them to enjoy a great story, feel gripped by the story, feel immersed and lose themselves in it. And to try and give them a different way, a very emotional way, a very empathetic way of relating to this subject matter. So we wanted to give them something that would help encourage people to think about these things on a less intellectual way and more of an intuitive way of what's really going on uh, in these surveillance societies.